Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're here at the World of Wheels in Rosemont, Illinois. Come on out to the World of Wheels, you'll see some great cars. And I'm here with Billy and Debbie, the Thomases, and I'm gonna grab the cameras I usually do. So Billy, uh, tell me first of all, what kind of car do you have here today? It's a 39 Oldsmobile Model 60 convertible. Uh, the only one left to exist today. Is that right? Yes, sir. And Debbie, you uh, uh, let's show what the car looked like when it came in. It looked like this. This was the car. So it doesn't look like that now. What did you think when he, when he drove this one home? I didn't think it was very attractive at all. <laughs> and Billy, you, you had to uh, you know, seal the deal with the owner. How did you manage that? Because he wasn't selling this car. No, he was, um, he was a diehard car guy. And this car meant the world to him. And, uh, but he was very cantankerous, so I knew how being he was a car guy, sure. I drove. I have a 35 Ford Roadster, <laughs> and so I drove it up right in his front door where he, when he opened the door, he had to see it. And that was what I needed to convince him to sell me the car. <laughs> that was the answer. Now, he wouldn't sell the car to anybody until he saw that you were a car guy too. Exactly. Right, let's not waste too much more time. Let's go right back to this car. And this car, come on, come on back with me for a second, guys. I want to get that all in. This car is not only an amazing build, but uh, what award did it recently win? What, what was the award? We we run the the Riddler Award in uh, Detroit. Which what it's, is the Riddler Award? It's it the, is it's the, the most highest. prestigious award that you can compete for. When you're a custom car builder, that's that's the World Series. That's it. Congratulations, Debbie. Listen. When they called your name, and the Riddler Award goes to, what, what was your reaction? Oh, it was it was amazing feeling. <laughs> I, it was unbelievable. It's been his dream forever, and. I'm his biggest supporter, so. There you go, and you've got a little shop. What's your shop called? Uh, it's called Hot Rod Heaven. Hot Rod Heaven. It's in Corpus Christi, but. Uh, Who built this car? It wasn't Hot Rod Heaven. No, sir, it was uh, uh, Hot Rods and Customs of Andice. Go ahead, tell us who it is. It was Customs and Hot Rods there of Andice. There we go, and who were some of the guys who were involved in this build? I'm Le gonna look at the car while we're talking about them. Go ahead. Levi Green was probably the lead des designer that built the car, and Mike Kaiser is the shop foreman, which uh, there was several key players, but uh, Christian, a uh, young man named Christian, was the designer of the car. He worked for GM at, at, at some point in time as a designer, I think for eight or 10 years. And, and uh, he designed most everything on the car. And uh, Levi is the sheet metal genius. He did a lot of this sheet metal. And look at, look at this, the, the fenders on this car, how they flow. I mean, when, you, when, you, when they put this together and you saw this coming, you know, you walked in, what'd you think when you saw this? I don't know the right word to use. I was <laughs> blown away. Um, the car was just the the most impressive, sexiest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Other than Debbie, I guess. Other than Debbie, yeah, sure. Debbie, Debbie yeah. what did you think when you saw this? Oh, I hadn't seen it in probably a month and a half, so I was just ecstatic to see the final. Let's keep looking at her, and there's there's the Detroit Autorama. Riddler Award. To tell you what this means, somebody just walked up to me and said, can I touch that right there? They wanted to touch the trophy. <laughs> it's the Stanley Cup. It's the World Series trophy. And this is the car. Let me just even feature some of the pieces back here underneath. And we're going to take our time and show you the whole car. Now, this car has a name. I'm going to move back so we can Again, kind of just take a moment. Tell, tell me about the top a little bit. That top comes off as one piece? Yes, sir, it's a removable. It's a removable hard top. Okay. But it was made to simulate, it was made to simulate a, uh, a full roadster with the, with the top bows. As you can tell, it has the, the uh, markings of the top bows like a regular roadster would have. But it is in fact an all aluminum lift off. And it all comes off. Yes, and, and I'm gonna step right behind. Billy, call me Lou, please. Yes. Let, let's move right back here. And Old Cool is the name of this car. Yes, sir. And here's some of the 
people who are getting thanked. Let's take a look at the back. Let me, let me just do this while I'm back here. Look at underneath the work that's been done here. Just spectacular. Let's take a look back here. We've got some super wide wheels, as you can see. Look at the exhaust from this angle. You'd have to be at this angle to see that. But that's just amazing. And we'll give you that flavor right there. Can we, usually we wouldn't open a trunk. And here's the crest we're talking about. Can we open the trunk? Yes, sir. All right, great. Is that the gas filler? Yes, sir. That's wow. the gas filler. You can lock it or you can take that off, whichever you choose. That's spectacular. That light actually has the Oldsmobile pressed in, in the center of it. And that thing is all custom built. The lens, the bezel, everything. As the tail lights, everything on this car it's is just custom machine. Just amazing. These guys are. Magicians. Yes, we'll sir. We'll shut that. And let's uh, open up the door, please, Debbie, if you would. Is that the top one, Billy? Hmm? Top? I don't know. We'll reach in there, we'll get it. May I have your attention, please? If you had While we're before, getting that, I want to show one show. other thing that I just thought about. And you have not Which is take a look at registration the headlight, which has so as soon as possible. the logo as well. If you have a car in the car department, and you have not registered yet, please go to the registration we got the, and make sure you get registered as soon as possible. It's cool there in the dash. As we look at the back, the logo again, and those crests throughout the car, just the, the crest in the center there, and the light. As you can see that, take a look at this dash. There's the crest again down the center. You see it's just custom. Okay, let's take a look under the hood. Press the release. Unbelievable. No wires, no need, just smooth. It's up on the top there. Amazing. All right, well, let's shut the hood and let's shut that door. Billy, stand right next to Debbie. <laughs> Guys, an amazing car. Congratulations. Thanks for being the winner. I mean, uh, lifelong dream. Here it is. Yes, thanks, for, thanks for being on My Car Story. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. This car is the kind of car that leaves a historical legacy. And I'm here with Art Swanson. Art, good to see you. Yes, sir. Good to see you again. And, and Art, share with us what you brought today. Well, this is the 1942 two-door Fastback 62 Series Cadillac. And it has all the goodies. 
but <clears throat> it was on its way to the junkyard yes. uh, when I picked it up. And in restoring it, it took five years to find all the parts and get it back together. But pleasurably enough, we got it back together. It went to the Cadillac LaSalle Club in Indiana, and it got a first in class and best of show, which was a good end to our five years work. <laughs> That's for sure. One other thing too, just for the younger viewers, why don't they see any 42 Cadillacs or any 42 cars? What was happening during that time? Well, in 42, production was cut off on automobiles very early uh, in 42. 1941, uh, December 7th, of course, the Japanese had bombed Pearl Harbor and wow, now we're in war. And all the way around we're at war and a lot of things went on high priority that were hard to get or expensive and very much needed. And one of these was chrome. Uh, which was used for chrome alloy steel and a number of other fairly fancy projects. Uh, so there were a few cars uh, that were produced before all this was shut off uh, in February. Possibly the second week in February was absolutely the end of car production as we know it. Some of those very early 42 cars were produced no chrome and the chrome was painted and you might, if you see a 42 car at a show, and you might see that all the chrome is painted, you'd think, gee, that guy really kind of cheated his way on that. But the truth is, those were called blackout cars, and they were painted because chrome was on priority, high priority, and they wouldn't let them have any. So painted chrome in 42, and they called them blackout cars. Let me grab the camera, let me show the car. This car is spectacular. All right, step right alongside me here. Let's first of all take a look at our fastback. You want the hood open? Like so. We're going to open the hood, but look at that. And let me go right over here and give you a direct on look at the back. Like so. And here we have. I'm almost going to call it the jewelry on the car. A wonderful markings. Look at the rear window with the slats and a wonderful tail lights, the chrome, the way the featuring the 42 plate. That must have not been easy to find either, the 42 plate. Art, show us kind of the unique piece here on the one tail light. It's the gas cap, just like downtown. Yeah, just like so nice. All right, let me. Uh, I'm, the sun's hitting this side. I'm going to show an overall side shot of the car. So people can take that in. That's beautiful. And just featuring how these fenders, the doors with the fenders, how this is like so for the key, the handle comes down and the door does that and there's something called a lockout. Let me get a chance to feature the, uh, the front of the car as well. Beautiful chrome down the side here as Art was showing. We've got the wonderful split windshield. Look at this hood ornament. And you'll see what that does in a second as well. It has a purpose. The turn signal lights, the chrome, and the overall front of this car. Like so. Trying to get the sun just like that. Let me see if I can get it. Like so. Alright, let's uh, open up the uh, these wonderful bumper pieces here as well. Let's... See that little thing on the rear view mirror? Yeah. That was that special prize that was awarded at the Grand National. Okay. Ah. 
Okay. And one thing I wanted to make sure that we show. Is that it cut one? Yeah, it's got a tag. There. Now important tag. The engine. Wonderfully done. Now the exhaust comes up here over the top and we'll show you what that does when I go to the other side of the car. You can just see. Window washers. Some of the badging there. You can go to the other side of the car. Get out of the way. One other thing too that so here's the exhaust and it comes down to here. That's a single pipe out. A single pipe with asbestos on it out. And also notice these two come together in the center here versus usually to have two pipes that go straight in. Also, no shutter. And no shutter on the front, which usually there's a shutter here, which is why that is, and it opens vents. Yeah, on the radiator. On the radiator. But this doesn't have them. The 42 didn't have that. So let's not only, and here's the, the electric, let's uh, open up the, um, this one I show down in there as well. I want to open the interior section just so that people can see the interior obviously. Keep that open. We'll uh, look at this door. It's like a, is this mole, mole hair or what is this here? The, no, that's uh... Oh, gosh. I told you earlier and I've now I've forgotten. That's all right. Here's the back seat. In the back window. It, it's wool broadcloth. Wool broadcloth. Let me just show the. Go ahead. There's the interior. Panel is coming loose, and I I had it so it would stay, but it won't quite stay. Don't so. breathe. <laughs> I'll be gentle. Gauges, emergency brake. What is this? Is is that a starter button or? No, that's a button for the <coughs> window washers. Window washer button. Here's your turn signal. Yep. And as you can see, we've got two pedals, so it's uh, an automatic at this time as well as you can see. It's hydromatic. Right. Hydromatic. Tell me about the hydromatic. Well. That was GM's automatic transmission, and it was made its debut in Starter button. Oldsmobile, and uh, they tried it out. Oldsmobile was the uh, model they tried out a lot of things on. They tried out the hydromatic transmission. It passed its uh, tests with flying colors, and they, in 41, that was the first year for hydromatic for the Cadillac. And this is now the second year. Art, what's your reaction when people see you driving this car? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just sort of smile and let them look. <laughs> yeah. Are they beeping, waving, the whole thing? Yes. All of the All above. All of that. All of the above. I have people flash their lights and wave or beep or if they know what it is, you know. Take of, pictures and everything else. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Let's start her up. Sorry to be so slow. You're doing fine. Take your time. Arthritis is not pleasant. Jockeying around. What a nice sound. Exhaust. Now, how wonderfully smooth. Absolutely. Yes. That sounds great.
All right, let's shut it down. Let's shut it down. Oh, okay. Show me that again. With <laughs> Turn the radio off. And it does that. Wow, that is pretty cool. All right, let's shut her down. Art, always a pleasure. Well, guy always likes to show off his goodies. <laughs> Art, thanks for showing off your goodies, and thanks for being on My Car Story. Okay. My 